All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to Cotabo Space Program, where today we are taking a look at another fun mod, this time in the form of, bear with me here, it's kind of a long name, the IXS class NASA Concept Warp Ship Mod. Well, it's, it's a part mod, so it adds in various parts into the game so that you can create the IXS class warp ship that is a sort of conceptual design by scientist Harold White to, uh, you know, basically the future of potential warp capabilities of mankind. And it's, it's it, you know, made the rounds of the news not too long ago, and a forum user by the name of Stevie D decided to bring it into Kerbal Space Program, and my god, is it beautiful. Now, right off the bat, you need the KSP Interstellar mod for this to work. Uh, I mean, of course you do. It is a concept designed for a warp-capable ship. So, yeah, you need Interstellar so you can have the whole warp mod into the uh, game. You also need Fire Spitter, but that is actually included in the download. Um, other than that, the mod is also compatible with TAC life support and carbonite and extra planetary launch pads. Now, you don't need those, but it is compatible with them if you have it, because there are some additional features you can have. And now that we are in here in the VAB, let's start taking a look at the various parts that it adds. Now, first and foremost, we have... The IXS Command Pod, and well, this thing is just beautiful. It needs uh, at least one crew to operate. It'll hold three in total and has a lot of electrical charge for it. Surprisingly, not a lot of uh, monopropellant. You'd think with, you know, 8,000 electrical charge and how big this thing is, you'd have more monopropellant than that. But, eh, I can live with it. And yeah, this thing is Wonderful. I, I just love the design and look of it. And if you notice here, we've got this uh, sort of interior area. That is the hatch where your Kerbals can go onto EVA from. And besides that, being able to go into EVA, inside... Oh god, if we can get in here. Hold on, hold on, I gotta manipulate a few controls. Oh, we might not be able to see it, but inside here, over in these little vestibules, you have location points that you can attach stuff to so if you want you can actually put some probes inside of the IXS craft and then of course you can close this hatch up so nothing moves I love that to death it is just wonderful now moving on from command over in propulsion we have the Quantum Vacuum Thruster, which is just a really cool big engine that uses electrical charge and <laughs> a lot of it to actually make you go very fast. So that is the engine for it. Now we also have the Alcubierre Drive. Um, be prepared, there's a weird glitch. I've never seen this before, but when I go to hover over the Alcubierre Drive for the IXS, it does this. <laughs> it just gets really big. But we have the 3.75 meter IXS Alcubierre ring, which if we just bring it into the game, there we go. We got that nice big sucker right there. I love it. And of course, if we grab that engine, we do can just like pop it down here for a moment so you can see it. It is big, it is wonderful, let's take it off real quick. And we also have a carbonite fuel tank. Like I said, this is compatible with carbonite. It's not necessary, but if you have carbonite installed, you can use that fuel here. And we also have a fuel container that's just a generic liquid fuel and oxidizer as well that it brings in. Now over to control, we have nothing. Structural. We have <laughs> three things which are very fun, and these three things work with the extra planetary launch pads, and they are space docks. You have a large, a small, and a medium. Let's bring in the small, because you should be able to see that. It has, uh, as you can see, points where you can attach bits to it from there, and then you have a nice little space dock that you can bring your ships into, and I, <laughs> I love these things, and apparently, I haven't been able to use it because I have prob- I, I don't know why, but I have troubles with the extra planetary launch pads mod. Uh, it, it always seems to crash my game. 
but apparently these are supposed to be compatible with it so you can use them as launch pads out there in space and it is just a cool space dock now this is the small one the large one is well gigantic and fits in the whole ixs craft inside of it quite nicely and it's beautiful but uh grabbing the small one again you can see you'll notice that there we go we have the attachment points right there in the back of it and also on the inside so you can build off of this thing and it's just cool i love these now over in aerodynamics we have no new additions utility is where we have the central main hull for the craft as well as its antimatter reactor so if we bring that in bam now if you have seen the designs of the ixs class ship this will be very recognizable to you got the cool panels on the sides your main body and attachment points for various additional modules now if you wanted you if say you wanted carbonite you could attach a carbonite cell into here and it fits perfectly inside this little area but uh, over back at Utility, oh, that's another one that grows. We do have an IXS Crew Habitat module. Let's pop it over there so you can see the cool windows. I have no idea why it does that enlarging thing. That is, that is weird. Huh. But yeah, we have a Habitat module so you can bring in Crew. I believe it holds, oh, let's find out how many it holds. Four, there we are. Oh, and the Antimatter Reactor main hull also holds one crew personnel. I had forgotten about that. Let's head back over to parts and go to, well, let's, uh, oh yeah, just head straight over to science. Because in here, additional modules that you can sort of add into the middle bits of this are, oh, the, another one that grows, a mobile science laboratory. And of course, it will give you delicious, delicious science when you use it. And like I said, works with TAC life support. We have food, water, and oxygen. So if we just click that on for a moment, uh, hmm. yes, it works. It functions as a mobile processing lab, and if we attach one to the other side as well, there we go. Now we also have this lovely uh, communitron here, the IXS communitron, which is supposed to fit right in here, but it's kind of hard to get it onto that attachment point. I've found the best way is to kind of put it to the side and then you could click it in and there you go. You can communicate back with the planet. And then you have an array of seven different attachments which go onto these bits here. So for instance, we have an antimatter collector that we can attach onto one of these four points. Uh, there is also a gamma ray spectrometer a IXS, a negative a gravioli detector, a carbonite detector, if you, of course, have carbonite on, a dual technique magnetometer, and a uh, SC9001 science senior, and, of course, a giant thermometer. And, yeah, you attach these just like you would any module, and these add on different scientific... Ooh, that... That went inside somewhere. Oh my. <laughs> yeah, so even though you have seven options here, you can, of course, only fit four with how this thing is laid out because, of course, the backs have end caps on them from where you place on the modules. And, uh, yeah, that is actually it for all the parts for this baby. They are just wonderful. You have a good selection of different bits of scientific equipment depending on what you like to do and also what mods you're using. Of course, you can collect antimatter, carbonite, and ver do various bits of science. You have a mobile science laboratory, a wonderful crew habitat that enlarges through the screen. I still don't understand that. Our wonderful main hull, various fun gigantic space docks. Then we have the quantum engine. Let's pop the other Alcubierre drive down at the bottom. Oh, yep, there we go. Let's make it go through again. And then the quantum engine at the back. And well, that is basically, again, if you noticed in the news, the design for that potential concept warp capable ship, it's pretty much taking form. It is just glorious. It is absolutely beautiful. Very well put together. And honestly, fits with the game so well it looks like it should be a part of the game it it looks stock it doesn't look like some strange crazy mod 
I mean, it, it looks like it is just a normal part of Kerbal Space Program, and it is glorious. Now, like I said, Interstellar mod is right now required for this. But Stevie D is also working on a stock-only version, so you will be able to have an IXS class ship for stock alone. Uh, but for right now, you have to have Interstellar, and quite honestly, if you're building a warp-capable ship, y you should have the Interstellar mod, because you, know, you gotta go to warp. It's just glorious. But yeah, if we exit out of here real quick, and actually go to the tracking center. I built one of these and got it into space with one of these space docks. Uh, don't think that that's too amazing. I used hyper edit because, <laughs> well, I don't think I could fly something this gigantic into space with rockets with my skills. Now, uh, one thing to point out, even though we do have a lot of good crew in here, there is no IVA at the moment. We just have this sort of blank slate IVA. Uh, but, uh, hopefully, in time, that will be added in. I mean, this this is still in pretty early stages of development, and already it looks it's just amazing. And, yeah, we've got ourselves a glorious space dock up here. I've got a separator connecting us in, and if we just, uh... Oh, boy, let's separate. There we go. Fire up the engine a bit. Come on, activate. It isn't activating. Oh no, it's it's supposedly on. Ooh. Interesting. Oh, is it because I don't have any Ooh, no, I have antimatter flowing. Interesting. Oh, status flame out. Oh, oh. <laughs> uh, oh, it's electric charge deprived. Really? I have the reactor should be going. Oh no, it doesn't appear to be. And I can't... Oh, blocked by crew module. Oh, I built this wrong. <laughs> I appear to have messed up the design of this a bit. Uh, huh. That is... That is unfortunate. I was really hoping we could at least move this thing out of the space dock so you could get a better look at it. Hmm. Well, <laughs> all else fails. Like I said, I used hyper-edit to get this thing up here. Now that it's separated, let's move it. Just a little bit further, so 95,000, uh, no, move it a thousand meters forward. <laughs> there we go. Uh, cheating's okay sometimes if you're trying to show things off. <laughs> yeah, there we go. So you can see the IX, IXS craft in all of its glory. I've got on here two crew modules and two science modules. And then the uh, negative gravioli detector, the science senior, which of course is glorious, the uh, IXS thermometer, and the magnetometer. There we go. Now let's take Jebediah and actually get him on EVA. Oh boy, there we are. Let's move forward, and there you go. Like I said, that is the airlock. Oh, the KSS Manly. Oh, that is wonderful. I hadn't noticed that previously. But, <laughs> yes, like I said, over in these little offshoot areas in here, you can stash away satellites and things like that, which is cool. Or just bring your Kerbal out. And let's bring him outside to take a look at this thing. Oh, it's just gorgeous. I really do love the design of this. Stevie D did an amazing job on bringing this all together, and it just looks beautiful. Uh, it, the Alcubierre engines just look great. The whole design of the modules and the science equipment is just beautiful. The whole thing is just <laughs> Probably one of the best parts mods I have seen in quite a while, and definitely worth a look for anyone who loves this game, and anyone, of course, who is who became a little bit obsessed with the IXS concept design, because it's it may very well be the future of NASA. If, you know, they don't keep getting their budget slashed. Uh, but yeah, if you would like to try out uh, this uh, craft for yourself, you can just go and follow the links in the description to check it out. And I hope you do, because my word, it is, it is worth it. Definitely, 
definitely go and check this out. It is fun. And, of course, I hope you have enjoyed this episode and that you come back for the next. But until then, thank you for watching, my friends. And as always, have a good one. Oh, look at that. It is just beautiful. <laughs>